Welcome to Jimmy Reviews. I am Jamison Michael, and today we are here to take a quick look at an update from what may be considered the most popular real running shoe on the market. It seems that if you go to any running store and ask which shoe do you sell the most of, many times it will be the Ghost. Well, we got the new Ghost, and today we got a newcomer to the channel, Laura Nicole, who's going to hold it down for the channel. Now, Brooks told us that this is a slight update, so this shouldn't take too much time. So be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. So in the upper, we got a new sleek design. While last year's Ghost wasn't bad, this one to me just looks better. And luckily, it feels just as good as last year's. You have an engineered mesh throughout the upper that provides what I would consider a good standard fit. And by that, I mean it does just about everything right, including the fit. The midfoot lockdown is pretty good, while not being too stiff. The toe box is very accommodating. And fit-wise, both Lauren and I felt comfortable. The breathability from the upper during these hot summer weeks weren't too bad. And we had no issues with hot spots, heel slipping, or anything worth getting upset about. This upper is just comfortable. It's padded around the heel, the tongue, and that step-in feel is probably the best part. Once it's on your foot, it just feels good. And that's really all you can ask for. So the midsole is essentially the same as last year's shoe. We got Brooks DNA cushioning combined with the newer DNA loft cushioning in the heel. The heel has a bit more of a cushion feel to it and definitely provides the impact protection that you would need while on the roads. The transition to the foot strike is pretty smooth. But I will say that if you're used to a lower heel to toe drop in your shoes, the ghost may feel like you're leaning forward too much. But once we got moving, it was not something that we really noticed. It was mostly while standing in it that we noticed it the most. So as far as the shoe being comfortable, we would say that it most definitely is. But the key to the cushioning of this shoe is the balance. This shoe is a bit more on the cushion end, but as far as being a good overall daily trainer, the Ghost 12 hits that mark. It's not too cushioned that it feels sloppy, but it's not too firm that it feels hard, which makes it not great at any one thing, but solid for just about everything else. The outsole uses blown rubber throughout the shoe. The rubber around the heel is a bit stiffer to provide a bit more durability. And the amount of rubber that you get in this shoe is about as much as you can ask for. The Brooks Ghost series for the past few models have been as durable as they come. So we expect this model to be able to hold you down for the long jogs. Traction wise, it's good. If you're on road like surfaces, you'll be okay. Now if you decide to go climb a mountain on a rainy day, well you might not make it. So pretty much don't climb wet mountains. Okay? Cool. So the Brooks Ghost 12 is the standard when it comes to that daily trainer. No thrills, no gimmicks, no carbon plates, it's just a shoe that gets the job done. Now were we impressed? Not really, but not because it is not a good shoe, but because it's about what we expect. This is a very subtle update from last year's shoe, but I suppose there's a reason why this shoe does so well. So if you're a Brooks Ghost fan, don't worry, it will still be your favorite shoe. Well done. What's good everybody, we are back with the post review, review, and I am sober this time, so that's a good thing. Today, we have a newcomer, Lauren, she's in the house, I'm gonna give you a cool name. You work on that, I, I don't yet, but you can be the first. Okay, that, that works, but uh, maybe by the time I edit this video, I can figure something out, <laughs> the cool to say. But yes, today we have the Brooks Ghost 12. 12, there's 12 of them. This is the 12th one, the newest one comes out July 2019, which by the time this video is out, it should be like in stores at least. And if you want to get a couple pair, it will be at theringwarehouse.com. Links down below. This is my thoughts on the Brooks Ghost 12. I know I get hate for this, but to me it's like vanilla. I can't argue with that. It's But it's good. Vanilla's good. It's good. Vanilla's good. Like we don't right. like, like, we don't hate <laughs> vanilla. It's just one of those things where like, I'm not like super... I'm not up at midnight like, oh, this shoe drops tomorrow. I'm getting it, rushing to the store. I'm like, cool, it's dependable. Mm -hmm. It's a good shoe that like you can depend on and gets the job done. If you don't, it's no thrills, but it's solid. Like there's nothing wrong about the shoe. Like this is the standard staple shoe. It's not super fast. It's not super soft, but it gets all the basic things done right. And that's all you can really ask for. Like, if someone doesn't know what they want, and they're like, I need a running shoe. A get real running ghost. shoe. Get, get the ghost. Yeah. Um, do you have any thoughts about it as far as how much he's tried it and what you like, what you don't like, anything, yeah. updates? Um, to me, it feels 
very similar to every other ghost before it that I've had recently. Um, immediately when you put it on, it feels like a Brooks. It feels broken in in that way that Brooks does more so than other brands, which I enjoy. I will but say these these uppers. They're good looking shoes. And they're they're accommodating. Like no one really goes, oh man, Brooks like feel tight or. Yeah. It really adapts and I don't. Know, I call it the Brooks slide in feel. Your foot kind of slides yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Like how come other shoes can't do that? What do they what do they put in here? <laughs> Oh no. Slick it down for you. Yeah, you know, but it's almost the same shoe as last year's. The the soles the same. The upper it kinda reminds me of that uh Brooks launch a little bit. Yeah, it does. Like it the feels way. firm. Again, I haven't compared Ghost and Launch recently, but it feels like the launch underfoot a little bit. It feels okay. springier, but maybe I'm just No, I mean imagining. sometimes you feel things. <laughs> sometimes they say but. we didn't change anything, but they low-key kinda change a few things yeah. to see if we notice. A lot of brands do that, if you guys didn't know, like they do. They'll say, nothing changed, it changed. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's solid, yeah. Rubber traction, you know, responsive, cushioned, solid. I mean, it's like mid-range, it's like mid-range everything. The only thing about this shoe that people may not like is the, the heel to toe drop. It's 12. Yeah. I know some people were like, I don't like 12. Like, if you don't even know what drop is, you won't even notice what the drop, you won't notice it. If you're someone who's like, I wear ultras and topos, then obviously you wouldn't be wearing a ghost. You'd be wearing something more in that little specialty niche of a realm of shoe. But I think it's solid, man. I like it. It's just, I like it. It doesn't excite me. But good, if anyone, good, solid shoe, yeah. Yeah. If anyone says, hey, look what I got, I'm be like, cool, you have an iPhone. <laughs> like, you have an iPhone? Yeah. Wow. That's how I feel about I the ghost. <laughs> like, we all have iPhones. Well, most of us, but it's like, cool, you have an iPhone. Yeah, once you've made 12 of a shoe. Yeah, 12. But all right, cool. With that said, be sure to stay in school. Don't do drugs. And if you can, keep it tight. I always tell the kids to do that because sometimes they don't listen. They just want to do what they want to do and they don't get it. This headband's fire though. <laughs> all right, oh, we didn't have any bloopers. We didn't. No, you didn't mess up. Sweet. Like, you're the only one who doesn't mess up. I know, like, Salisha messes up, Vinny Ray messes up, I mess up. I don't talk as much in general, there's less, less no, that's words what I, that's to what I like about jumble. You. you just, <laughs> you come here, get the job done. She got here, came on time, changed clothes twice for me. Oh, um, the apparel, the apparel. What do you think about the Brooks I apparel? I love it. Um, I love how thin the seams are. You don't get that scratchy feeling. Um, great all around. Yeah, you got the sports bra. Yeah. And I mean, I'm not a, a pro on sports bras, but is it good? Yeah, uh, personally, I took the padding out of this one because um, I feel like a lot of, personally, a lot of runners I know do that. Um, I think it fits great. Cool. And I then... love the back on it, the cross strap. Feels uh, nice and tight, so I like it. Keep it tight, nice Keep and tight. It tight. But yeah, the shirt's fine. I didn't get a shirt. They, they sent her a shirt. He that I, I don't get anything cool. <laughs> I wonder if they're upset that I'm wearing a Nike shirt in the review. But all brands matter. But if they want to send me a shirt, I'll, I'll gladly take a shirt. Man, this, ugh. You can't win today. I can't. All right, that's all. <laughs>